Hi, Coach B here in my coaching uniform. Three-step lesson on equivalent fractions. Don't be afraid. I'm going to coach you. Here we go. So first step, it's always easy. The question, what are equivalent fractions? Let's go to the answer. Answer. Equivalent fractions look different, but they're secretly the same. Equivalent fractions look different, but they're secretly the same. <laughs> That's fun. Here we go. Let's expand this answer. First of all, let's just dissolve any problems we have with this fancy word equivalent. Equivalent just means equal. Look, there's three, and it's equivalent equal to those three marks. Let's do that again. There's four, and four is equivalent to equal to four marks. Last time. Check it out. There's a big ten, but it's equal to equivalent to 10 little tally marks. So don't worry about equivalent. That's not the hard part. There is no hard part. Watch this. All right, equivalent fractions. There is half of a pizza. You see it. There's two fourths of a pizza. But you see those two fractions, though the numbers are different, they secretly mean the same thing. Half of a pizza is equal to, equivalent to, two-fourths of a pizza. Do it again. There's one-third of a pizza, yum yum, and there's two-sixths of a pizza. But when you look at them, you see it's the same size, just cut up differently. Equivalent fractions look different, Secretly the same. Last time, three fourths of a pizza, and if you count the parts, that's six eighths of a pizza, they're equivalent, they're equal. So, equivalent fractions look different, but they're secretly the same. Never forget this. Your coach is telling you, if you understand pizzas, and you understand pizzas, you understand equivalent fractions. So let's do a little deep thinking. Could equivalent fractions be unequal? Yes. No. Think about it. It's Coach B signing off saying power to the kids.